Okay, I'm having a go growing a giant pumpkin. Been in the ground for about a week and a half. I mean, out of the ground for a week and a half. I have um, some composty here. So I've been, it's a aerobic mix. I'm going to just put it in here. This is a hydrogen cell, and I'm going to connect it up to my two 130 amp batteries in parallel, and hopefully it'll all froth up and the froth will come out of my tube here and I'll just cover it, cover the pumpkin plant in all the organic tea and all the hydrogen and oxygen bubbles hopefully will be trapped if it's all frothed up obviously the oxygen and the hydrogen will be trapped in the bubbles and I'll put it all over the plant and just experimenting to see if that's actually going to make any difference at all okay I will connect up the negative and yes, it's already starting to seen a bubble in there. It's a little bit hard to see because it's so yeah, you can sort of see that there. That's all oxygen and hydrogen. Okay. It's pulling about 37 amps. Okay. So as you can see, there's my compost tea with hydrogen oxygen trapped all inside of it frothing up. So what I'll do, I will just pour this all over my little seedling here and engulf it in it, all those microbes and oxygen and hydrogen. I think a little bit of reading I did hydrogen benefits maybe a couple of microbes but not all I'm not sure but obviously the oxygen will and this is actually working quite well don't know what this will do but engulfing it in hydrogen I mean mainly the oxygen here is possibly got to help the plant and all the compost tea and all the microbes just sort of be able to stay on it for so long in as in all the froth okay I'll just keep that going I'll give it a break for a sec and come back in a little as you can see in the cell here there is lots and lots of bubbles being made I'll show you briefly what the cell looks like inside but just for experimental purposes Obviously the water level is going to go lower so it's going to start to become harder for the actually froth to get out the top. Hopefully we'll get it pretty well covered over before it starts producing the froth. I think I'm almost, to say it's pretty well covered. Like a little cocoon. All oxygen, hydrogen, all the microbes in the compost tea. Aerobic, aerobic mix. Okay, I'll. A little bit more on top. leave that there for a while and see how long see actually how long the froth actually stays holds its shape on top of the pumpkin Let's see if I can get a little bit closer you can get a bit closer look at the froth you can see how all the bubbles are just entrapped in it and that's only 
the oxygen and the hydrogen. I'm splitting the water that's in the compost tea via electrolysis. The container was virtually full, only had a half an inch of actually air in the top of the container before I started, so there's not a lot of other stuff in there. But yeah, I'll leave it on for a while and see how long it holds it there for. As you can see there, the compost tea. It's still probably up here somewhere. I'd say I'll open the lid up and see when I'm finished, but yeah, the bubbles will come out to the top. Um, I don't know if this is anything or not, but after I finish that first initial bubble there, I notice there's all this um, something down the bottom that wasn't there before. Because I had um, drained the compost tea through a cloth to get any um, particles out of it. And now there's this um, inch and a half or so layer of sediment that's in the, in the bottom of this tank. So yeah, just curious to know what that is when I actually open it back up again. Just hook this up again, just keep aerating a bit. I don't want it to um, lose its aerobic qualities. As you can see, as you hook it up, there's all the hydrogen oxygen. It's obviously the compost tea in it. It works very good as electrolyte to give it heaps of um, ability to um, create the gas, the two different gases. That's why it draws so much amps. With only just um, normal tank water in there, that same cell would only be drawing about three amps, not 36, 37, 36 .6 or so, yeah. I'll just periodically keep turning that on and off for a little while while I'm waiting for that to see if it'll actually um, bubbles will pop or anything. You can see that's the rate of the froth bubbles that are coming out of the cell. A pretty rapid rate, really. And you see that extra little mound starting to appear over there. Okay, and there's that sediment layer that's down there. Interesting to see if that keeps growing every time I connect it up for a little while. I've been running for another three minutes. Just curious. It's interesting that the amp's actually starting to um, get higher and higher. Uh, that's, yeah, as you can see, 46 amps now. That's starting to crank it. Don't want to damage my battery, so I'll have to be careful. That's starting to get um, warm. Don't want to kill the micros, but it's only warm, probably 40 degrees, maybe, Celsius. Or well, maybe not quite yet, but it feels warm to touch. And as you can see in the bottom here, there's like a that one layer at the bottom, then a clear layer, then from there on all the compost tea that is full of tiny bubbles all the way through. All full. A lot of glare on that tube I suppose. See that shiny perspex, but yeah. Interesting. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we've got it off, just the negatives off. There's something else in there, all that whole distance isn't bubbles anymore, it's something completely different. As you can see there, the whole cell is full. I don't know how fast microbes can grow, but in so much oxygen would obviously accelerate the growth, but I'm not sure how too much, but that is just full of, um, yeah, 
I don't think you can see see that I realize too as it after a while the foam is a bit more darker in color it starts to go brown uh, not sure what that is but not much which is just a little bit okay this is um yeah very interesting what's going on here okay i started it again See all the activity, all the bubbling in there still. Just give it a hit every couple of minutes so the compost tea is still being aerated with oxygen and hydrogen. Okay, then that run again. I think I'm gonna to have to stop now. It's um on 51 amps yeah so that's what I'll have to do I think I might take the lid off and have a look inside okay before I take the lid off you can see the distinct whatever's in here now it's virtually full other than down the bottom and that layer at the bottom has changed it's only a tiny little bit and like a little bit of a clear expanse and all the rest is this compost tea has gone all yeah very strange looking just um take the lid off now it's rather warm 45 degrees I suppose it almost looks like a funny type of green look you've still got that clear area there I just disturbed it by starting to turn this top and a little bit at the bottom so yeah whatever that is about to find out Only on the edges, it seems. There's the cell. This stainless steel, high quality stainless, separated. Not sure what that stuff is yet. Okay. You can see it's like a greeny colour now, like a pale green. I'm going to keep the little bit of foam out at the moment. stuff at the bottom mixed up so I can't see what that is now. Oops. As you can see there was no particles in there. There's no solid bits of organic matter. It was pretty well filtered out. going to put that under the microscope and actually see what it looks like. 